Welcome everybody, beautiful souls, wonderful, wonderful people, to another episode here of Float Up and Woke. We're talking about the fast. I've been requested, I've had a lot of the popular demand for more fast videos, more videos about the fast, and specifically the step-by-step. -step. People love the step-by-step. -step. So here it is. The step-by-step -step minus the, com the commentary, just the steps. S step number one, well, let's talk about what we're talking about. We're talking about the steps for the year-long fast, which is a, a fast that I did for 363 days from about equinox spring equinox of 2011 to about spring equinox of 2012 and it began like this with a mindset very very powerful driving pulling force for enlightenment for the liberation of all sentient beings from suffering, which is a Tibetan Buddhist theme, and I have been engaged with the teachings and knowledge from not just Tibetan Buddhists, but the Vedic systems and all the major systems that derive from the Vedic from the Vedic systems since I was about thirteen, for thirteen and fifteen. Uh, by 15, I was really like already calling myself a Buddhist and stuff. But about 13, I started being exposed to it. And I've had this ideal and this intention, this very powerful drive to sort of reunite with the all, with the oneness, with that from which we all come from, and learn how to do that in such a way that I'm able to extend it to others and share it with others and guide others towards and experiencing of an awakening to their true nature and the love and the bliss and the joy and the peacefulness that it is. That's step number one. Having a burning desire, a powerful intention, and an unwavering commitment to a goal that's going to give you the strength to constantly override your nervous system and your ego patterns that are going to want you to eat, that are going to want you to be influenced by social norms or social influences and social paradigms or cultural traditional belief systems, which can be very uh, limiting and difficult for a process like this. Now, again, I'm not encouraging anybody to do a year-long fast. All I'm doing now is giving information that may be helpful for whatever part of your process you might be in right now. The second step is getting rid of all addictive substances. If you're eating too much candy, if you're drinking a lot of coffee, if you're smoking cigarettes, if you're drinking beer, start cutting that stuff out because it is going to be very difficult to deal with any kind of withdrawals from addictions and hunger at the same time. You know, the withdrawal from food, it's going to be enough for you to deal with. You don't want to be dealing with this at the same time. So if you have any of those, go ahead and make up your mind to get rid of those right now. Now, now that you're rid of those, you can start to cut out processed foods. And you want to go at least a couple of weeks without the processed foods, the tobacco, the coffee, the addictive substance that you might be entertaining currently. It could be cake, it could be donuts, I don't care, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's, a, if it's a simple sugar, a processed food, anything like that, start getting rid of it. Once you've gotten rid of all these major obvious things that are going to like be really toxic and really challenging to, to detox from, uh, then you can move into step three. Step three is the smoothies. Get yourself a Vitamix or a very powerful smoothie blender machine and start making smoothies. Now, I always recommend that the smoothies be simple and that you're not combining too much stuff. When you combine 
certain fruits with certain vegetables, you create a clash of enzymes that are trying to break down the nutrients in those fruits and vegetables. And those enzymes can either cancel each other out sometimes, or even worse, produce byproducts, chemical byproducts in your system that are just as toxic as the stuff that we're trying to detox from. And you don't want that, obviously. We don't want to put new toxins in. We're getting toxics, toxins out. And we're doing it gradually, and we're doing it with grace. We're doing it in the flow. Your intention and your goal has a flow that leads right, right to it. And if your intention and your goal is in alignment with the universal intentions and goals, then the universe will start to conform itself so that you can easily and smoothly follow this flow. That is going to be necessary for any major fasting experience event attempt. And that's, that's it. There you go. You have your three steps right there. The first one is the mindset, the goal setting, the, the burning desire. The, and, and in the Buddhist, Tibetan Buddhist, they call it, they have a word for it, um, which is the commitment. They have a Tibetan word for it. I can't remember right now. I apologize for that. But there is a, if somebody thinks of it, please put it on the comments. There's a Tibetan word, and it's like, one of the things that gets done over and over again is you recommit and you take shelter in this commitment to liberate all sentient beings from suffering. That, that's the one I had. It doesn't have to be yours. Yours could be a, a, an amazing waistline. It do, it's all relative to what your goals are, how long you're going to want to fast for. Use logic, use reason, and allow yourself to be guided by your higher self, higher source higher spirits, angels, guides, your inner heart, your your internal heart compass of you know the compass of compassion. Um, allow that and and you know let the joy and the gratitude be your guide. I and I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> I hope this is very helpful. It's actually quite simple. It has very much to do with having your mind set and having your mind set appropriately uh, rather than being misguided by either ego or social influences. If you have found this helpful, please like it, please share, please uh, comment. Anything that helps would be very, very appreciated as far as getting this word out and, and spreading the joy and the knowledge that comes from it. Thank you very much. I hope this is helpful and I send you lots of lots of blessings, lots of lots of love and lots of peace. Alright, Satnam, much love.